What's up nerds? All right, so today we're just gonna be talking about a common mistake that happens on the bench press. And it's really a pretty simple fix. So, let's jump into today's video. Today we're gonna to talk about leg drive. And I wanna make sure that we emphasize leg drive or really like quad drive is what it should be called. And a lot of people get this confused with hip drive. And hip drive should not be apparent on the bench press. See, hip drive looks like this. And it's great for squats, it's great for deadlifts, but it's not great for bench press. Because on bench press we have to keep our butt down. Instead we want quad drive, which should look something more like this where you're essentially pushing yourself backwards on the bar, right? You're pushing yourself back towards your shoulders. The idea behind proper leg drive or quad drive as we'll call it, is our goal is to narrow the distance between our shoulders and our butt. And the way we do that is by essentially trying to push our, using our feet, trying to push our butt towards our shoulders, which makes an arch. And if we do that properly, one, we have a better arch, two, we get better quad drive. So we're killing two birds with one stone, just not mocking birds. Because, you know, to kill a mock, you, you guys, you get it, you get it, I know you do. So hopefully that little tip helps. Remember, it's quad drive, not hip drive. Hip drives for squats, deadlifts, and the bedroom. Know what I'm saying? I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. It's lonely at the top. I'm tired of having company. Uh, so while you busy trying to fit in, I'm going to stand out and view my life through this lens to see how it pans.